Are you a Twitch streamer and trying to make the best visual quality for your viewers? Then this video is for you. This video is going to be about how to make your bit rate and your resolution as high as it can be at whatever level you are, whether it's affiliate or a partner. Uh, I'm going to go through that in this video and it's going to be to help you bring a better visual experience to your viewers. 720p and 936p are the best options on Twitch. Now as an affiliate, the most you get is 6,000 kilobytes per second. As a partner, you get 8,500 kilobytes per second. Bigger resolution is not always better. There's something called a screen resolution to a uh, bit rate ratio. And because you're maxed out at 85 or 6K, bigger resolution isn't always more clear for your viewers. You want that nice, crisp, visually stunning quality? Go smaller. I'm gonna tell you why in my video. So hop in, stay tuned, and let's get this done. So the first thing I wanna do is talk about the difference with affiliate and partnership on Twitch. Now, if you're watching this video, I imagine you already know what an affiliate and a partner is. So I'm not gonna go into detail about how you get it and all that good stuff. I'm gonna talk about the bit rate, bit rate aspect of it. So as an affiliate, the max bit rate that you can run is 6,000 kilobytes per second. That's six megabytes per second. As a partner, the most you can do is 8,500 kilobytes per second, AKA 8.5 megabytes per second upload speed. So keep that in mind because one, you need the upload speed from your internet service provider. And two, you need to have a good stable connection with your router, uh, preferably via ethernet because Wi-Fi is not as consistent and you're gonna want that quick latency so you have quick response with your viewers uh, if they have the internet to pull in your upload. Okay, so the way we're gonna break this down is between affiliate and partners because I know some affiliates are gonna watch this and some partners are gonna watch this and you're gonna want your settings in Streamlabs OBS or OBS, whatever you use, you're gonna want them different for each one because you get different bit rates, which means you get to uh, use different screen resolution. So for affiliates, I recommend nothing more than 720 unless you have a beast, and I'm talking like beastly built computer, um, because 6,000 kilobytes is just not enough bit rate to send 1080p. Um, you might be able to get away with 936p, but I would stick to 720. When I was an affiliate, I stuck to 720. My viewers liked it. Um, we'll go over like the, the normal Twitch um, screen size on the Twitch website screen and phones, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, for affiliates, I would always say stick to 720p with 6,000 kilobytes per second. I'll show you how to set that up right here in one second. Okay, so you're gonna click down here on the settings wheel and you're gonna go here, you're gonna go to output. Okay, mine is blacked out right now because I'm recording right now. Um, but right here, you're gonna want CBR, you're gonna want 6,000. This is for affiliates, you're gonna want 6,000 right here. Nothing more than that because it'll cause you lots of problems and uh, Twitch doesn't like that. Uh, so make sure right here it says 6,000. Then you're gonna go down to video and most people stream at 1920 by 1080. Whatever your base canvas is, Lower it down right here. You're gonna click this drop down menu right here and it's gonna let you show 1280 by 720. If you're an affiliate, I would highly, highly recommend doing 720. Now think about it this way. Um, the bit rate to CPU encoding ratio is gonna be super, super clear on 720 as opposed to encoding more pixels on a larger amount of screen with the same bit rate, okay? If you think about it like that, it's super simple in understanding what makes the screen um, more clear and less pixelated when you're on a lower resolution because it's kind of counterintuitive, but that is exactly how it works. Um, after this, I'm gonna show you guys partners. So if you're a partner, here's partnership. Okay, so now for partners, um, your max bit rate is 8,500. Now, this is important to remember, your audio bit rate when you're a partner also is included in that 8,500. So I allocate 256 kilobytes uh, for audio, just so my audio is really crisp. So I do 8250 um, for the actual in, uh, encoding process. Uh, so that's a total of just about 8500, but that is important to remember. Affiliates don't have to deal with that. I don't know if it's because Twitch's absolute max is 8500 or what, um, but do not pass, try not to pass 8500. I've done 8500 with the bitrate and it does work, but you'll run into problems with like some frame droppage, um, or it'll say your Twitch thing is unstable. So keep that in mind and I will show you exactly what my settings are for that right now. All right, so again, you're gonna hit this little settings wheel. Uh, we'll full screen it. Now you go to output and this is my exact settings because I'm a partner. Um, my bitrate is set at 8250. 
I have a, a pretty good CPU, so I have my CPU usage, usage to slow. Um, you know, medium, whatever you need to set it to is gonna be fine here. It's gonna be much clearer regardless. Now this part's super, super important. Um, I have obviously my base resolution is 1920 by 1080 because that's what my screen is. Um, and that's what my capture card is working with. So you have to set it so it scales this just like you would with uh, 720, but this is not an option. 1664 by 936 P is not an option on Streamlabs OBS. You have to manually write this and then you have to hit enter for it to save that. Um, the reason behind this, I'm going to explain right now, but this 936p is like the optimum level for a partner to have like the most clear i mean i mean it's super crystal clear uh visual quality for your viewers and it doesn't skip a beat it is perfect it's super easy for your pc to encode because it's divisible by eight which again we're going to go over in a second i'll explain why um 1080 i don't know why but twitch doesn't allow you to go over 8500 other platforms like youtube facebook mixer they all allowed like 10,000 and I was on 1080 there, uh, but that extra 1500 kilobytes per second just puts you at that little part where 1080, you start pixelating even with you know low encoder settings. Um, and you'll see other big streamers with 1080. And if you look close, you'll see some pixelating. I don't like that, just a personal preference. Um, 936p, in my opinion, is the place to be. Um, a lot of people will do 900p. And again, I'm gonna tell you guys right now why that's not the place to be. So stay tuned, we'll go over that. And then I got a couple tips. Okay, so the reason that 936p is so much more important than 900p is because, think of it like this. You have a block, this is your image, right? You have eight by eight blocks of pixels. That's what a block is, it's eight by eight. So um, with 936p, eight is divisible by that. 900p, eight is divisible, it is not divisible by it. So what you have is a little layer around your actual screen that is kind of filled with what's called junk blocks. And maybe six out of the eight pixels are not being used because it's not divisible, but it still has to encode that block and that block's not being used for anything. So you're not using 100% of what um, your screen resolution is set to. Whereas 936p, you're going up a little bit higher, but you're getting 100% of what's there. Um, there's also a couple in between 936 and 1080 uh, that are that are divisible by eight and there's also some below So you might sit somewhere in between those as a partner or affiliate depending on your uh, computer's um, Specifications, uh, I'm gonna leave a link to a true 16 by 9 list. I'll, I'll show it right here actually uh, But the link will be down in the description as well. So you can check it out and see what works best for you um, but I've done a lot of testing and I've been partnered for a little over a year now and I was 720p as affiliate. I tried more than that. It just didn't work out. Once I was um, partnered, 936p is where it's at for me. Um, I've got two i9s in both my PCs and my stream PC is set to slow encoder, which is pretty pretty good set, uh, a pretty good speed for encoding. Um, and I still have seen pixelation on 1080 and I've tried a couple streams with it and I just feel like 936p is the absolute best place for any big streamer or small streamer um, to have their stuff set up, to have the most crisp, visually stunning audio, sorry, video uh, to output to your viewers. Now, I just wanna give a, a couple tips. My first tip is always, always, always run the highest bit rate that you can. Uh, if you have good internet, run the highest bit rate you can. Your viewers can lower your settings um, or turn low latency off and having a crisp, video stream on your stream is going to be the difference with having people come by and you know have a few people that leave just because it's got some blurriness or some pixelating uh, to it um first impressions are everything on twitch that first like 5 10 15 seconds of someone entering your stream is a very paramount and important part of retaining viewers and having a uh, good audio good video quality um just good quality in general is going to make the difference with you know a large percentage of people leaving or staying so that's that's my first tip my second tip is experiment see what works maybe this doesn't work for you exactly um but somewhere in those lines 720 um up to those 936 or maybe you have an even more beast uh, pc than i do uh raise it up you see what works best for you um what i've always found is if you go into 
um, the recorder on the Streamlabs, in the Streamlabs settings, you can set the recorder to use the same encoder settings as uh, your stream encoder. And you can just, you can test it out. I'll go into a first person shooter because it's mainly what I play. And um, I'll set the recorder on and I'll do some fast movements and some stuff that I think is going to be heavily pixelated. And if it's too pixelated to me, I cut back my settings a little bit or I increase this or, you know, I just do, I did a lot of testing to get up to this point. Um, and you should do the same because everyone's build is different. Everyone's expectations are different. And what looks good to someone may not look good to somebody else. For me, I love the crisp, crisp uh, picture, but hey, maybe you have a bigger monitor than me and maybe you want 1080. So uh, explore that. And another thing that I'd recommend is just get informed. Just get informed in general. Look this stuff up. Everything I've learned has just been stuff I've, I've gone through the OBS forums. I found on Reddit. I've watched YouTube videos. Um, I've done trial and error problem uh, stuff myself. You know, I run into problems and I just try to work through it. Um, so that's probably the most important, especially as a, as a streamer. It's a business and um, being a business owner is about tackling problems and finding solutions. I hope this video helped out. I have another video called how to make your stream crisp in six minutes. Um, that'll be on the recommended at the end of this video. I also have some videos about how to make yourself uh, a business as a streamer, because if you're a streamer and you're making money, newsflash, you're a business. Uh, and you can file some deductions, but you need to do it legit. Um, I've also got a how to monetize your video or how to monetize yourself as a content creator and how to do taxes as a streamer. Um, these are all on my YouTube page. Hopefully some of these help. Hope this video helped. Stay savage. I hope you guys have a great day and peace. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up, but I still try. I get so fed up. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up. I get so fed up yeah. Sometimes it's hard to keep my head up